Yo, man, this video that I'm doing right here, man, is dedicated to got that little Scotty, Shy, Zero Zero. I'm talking about niggas who watch my shit all the time. And my new subscriber, um, this girl named Vanessa. You know what I'm saying? I gotta drive this motherfucking car right too. Anyway. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. I'm just the car. But anyway. Um, uh, in this video right here, man, uh, they asked me to do a video, like, talking about, like, Tupac, you know, getting shot and everything, so, I'm gonna go ahead and, like, you know, touch on that video about Tupac getting shot and all that shit, um, to make a long story short, uh, before I get into that, though, I just wanna say that... I saw this other nigga page. I can't, I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. He was saying that Haitian Jack was claiming that he ain't had nothing to do with Tupac getting shot. Or he ain't had nothing to do with Tupac getting popped or none of that shit. Right? Which, I still call bullshit on that because if you actually look for the FBI files, you will see... That the nigga Haitian Jack was a fucking informant. I don't know why niggas be trying to beat around that shit. They be trying to say that nigga was not a fucking informant. That nigga was a fucking informant, man. Like, he was a fucking informant. Jimmy Hinchman had something to do with that shit, too. Even in the fucking Get So Long song. Pac said, God damn it. I knew he was, you know, listen while I lace this rap and take you back. But a real last snitch that I knew named Haitian Jack. Right? That nigga was with that shit. Know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he was a cook, club promoter, and he sold drugs. Yeah, he was also a store in the motherfucking drug dealers. So was goddamn Jimmy, Jimmy Henchman. Like, that shit ain't nothing new. I don't know why niggas be trying. I like, nah, man, it, it wasn't that. And everybody was like, well, I don't know why Pete Pac even said Biggie name, because Biggie didn't have shit to do with that. Nigga, we already knew from the beginning that Biggie, <clears throat> we knew Biggie didn't have shit to do with Pac getting shot. That was never the fucking case. Pac only went at Big like that because Big, he felt like Big was getting big when he got with Bad Boy and, you know, he was a player and all that and he felt like Big was a big thing and he was under Puffy. But it wasn't that Pac, like, felt like that them niggas really had something to do like with him getting shot really the first time. Pop just always felt like that they knew some shit to it and they ain't never schooled him to the shit. You know what I'm saying? Or like they had a feeling that something was going to go down because like that was they fucking studio. You know what I'm saying? Where he went to go meet with these niggas at. They, it, was, it was like it was like one of Puff's like studios. So they just felt like nigga you should know who coming to the fucking studio. You know what I'm saying? But Pop wasn't even supposed to come himself. Pop just appeared and was like, yo, I'm going to come and do this song. They were like, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't think they even knew Pop was coming. But Pop claimed they did know he was coming. So I don't know what the fuck the story was of that. But we already know that Haitian Jack and Jimmy Hinchman had something to do with, with Pop getting shot the first time. We already know this shit. So everybody who tried to like take up for the nigga Haitian Jack, just fucking stop it. The nigga, okay, Ask yourself this. If that nigga really, really, really wasn't a informant or none of that shit that he claimed, right? No, nah, I'm just being real. If he was really not a informant and all that shit like, like he fucking claimed, right? Why the fuck when goddamn that shit went down with the bitch that got raped, how the fuck did he get off but Pac didn't get off? You know what I'm saying? Or the other niggas that supposedly... Has something to do with, 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 with raping the bitch or taking the pussy. Because if you notice, Pop wasn't the one who took the pussy. You feel me? Pop just got a back massage that day. Went to the room, you know, went that night. Went to the room, slept. And then she woke him up saying, you let them niggas do that to me. You let them niggas do that to me. And he was like, well, what the fuck you talking about? Where is any of them niggas at that, had, that, that did the shit? Okay. Then the case switched from him being a rapist to... Loud rap music to thugs and tattoos and all that shit. And this is Pac even saying that shit. And they just want to fuck up the man image. 
Now, how the fuck did he did he was the only one that went down for that shit? Then he didn't even go down for for fucking sexually like uh raping the girl up. Won't no won't no no shit in the anal. Won't no motherfucking like semen from pop on the bitch nowhere. Won't no nut. And her vaginal area, none of that shit. So we know that nigga didn't have nothing to do with that shit. You know what I'm saying? That was just some shit to get that nigga off. And it's sad that some of the same niggas that shit on him when he was going through the case, I'm talking about the record label niggas like from Time One and all them, they didn't have the niggas that own his shit. And they was the same niggas that dropped them from the fucking label. So. Y'all niggas try to come and try to put y'all little theories together. And that's good. I'm not mad. Because y'all thinking. And that's good. I'm glad this shit got y'all thinking and trying to put some shit together. I mean, it's better that y'all doing this shit than trying to fuck another nigga up on the streets and take another nigga life or something like that. So, I commend y'all for that shit. You, you feel what I'm saying? I commend you for that shit. So, I'm not knocking. I'm not, I'm not knocking at all. I'm not knocking at all, man. I'm not I'm not knocking at all. I'm not knocking y'all niggas at all for none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But alright, y'all niggas wanna know what happened with Tupac getting shot. Okay, basically, Tupac was going to meet P. Diddy and fucking uh Biggie in the fucking uh studio in New York, cause he was gonna do a song with him. You know what I'm saying? He was going to do, like, some songs with them niggas. So, Tupac came to the shit. You know what I'm saying? And when he came to the shit, some niggas came. What's up, homie? Some niggas came for him. You know what I'm saying? And they fucking, like, um, shot him up in the shit. He didn't expect that shit to happen. He didn't know that shit was going to go down. He didn't know that shit was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, to make a long story short, he got shot up in the fucking studio. Simple as that. I ran that fucking red like fuck that. Cause I mean where the shit was shit was orange, but that shit was gonna turn red. Fuck that man. Anyway, so the nigga already knew that something won't right because the way he got shot. Now he never actually said Biggie and them really had something to do with it. He always thought like that them niggas knew who had something to do with it. And then Pot later found out. Who has something to do with it? You know what I'm saying? The same niggas he was with the whole time. Fucking uh Haitian Jack, that fuck nigga, and uh Jimmy Henchman. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I still think to this day, yeah, I still think they some fuck niggas, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie. They some fuck niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I said it, man. They some fuck niggas, man. I don't give a fuck. Like, they some fuck niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? But Pop was wrong anyway, cause Pop shouldn't have took no no deal with no with no niggas because he could get you in the clubs and he sell drugs. But I guess at the time, Pop felt like he ain't had nobody to go to. Because he won't make it no money. He had money coming, but they was holding his money. His fucking record labels was holding his money. Was saying they couldn't, you know, they couldn't give him his money yet. Goddamn. What the fuck else happened with that situation? Goddamn, he had checks and shit that he was getting that he couldn't fucking cash. So he was getting money from that nigga And then he was getting money from doing shows and shit That's how Pop was getting his money That's why Pop was living in and out of fucking hotels they, The fans were so up Tupac ass He couldn't even buy a fucking car If he wanted to go buy him a brand new car Purchase his name He couldn't even fucking do it He couldn't fucking do it You know why he couldn't fucking do it He couldn't fucking do it man Because god damn it The fans froze all his shit When the fans is doing a case on you bro You can't buy shit you can buy the other people's names or some shit, but you can't own shit. They'll take shit from you and every fucking thing. You can't own shit for it. You can't. Like, that's some real shit. That's why you never want the feds on your ass. Because they'll do all kind of weird shit. Now they just, like, freeze your account. But they really want to get there, they'll, they'll fuck all your shit up, man. Y'all yeah, know this is ignorant as hell of me, man. But I'm at the goddamn Burger King. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm about to goddamn order me, like... Two whoppers and I got this coupon to get another one for free. So I'm a goddamn normally I like hit the pause button or something like that on the shit, but I ain't hit no pause button. So that's how basically how Tupac, you know what I'm saying, got shot the first time. But he didn't really think that Biggie had him shot 
He just felt like that Biggie knew who sh who had something to do with it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put the link to this interview that Tupac did. You know what I'm saying? With Sway. Before he did Sway in the morning. This is like back in 96. You feel me? And he talk about like how he say, I'm not saying that Biggie had something to do with it, but I feel like Biggie knew who did it. But see, Pop was mad at Biggie because Biggie wasn't a street nigga like he thought he was. You know what I'm saying? Biggie was just, I mean, I'm not, Biggie was cool. Biggie was just a nigga that was just, you know, selling his little drugs, make a little money. You know what I'm saying? Just to get, to get by, like, you know, $600, $700. You know what I'm saying? Get some money for his little, you know, his little daughter that he had at the time. The fucking, like, you know, take care of his shit. Because he, you know, he dropped out of school, you know? So, he wasn't no big time hustler now like that, but Pop thought he, Pop was getting a nigga more credit than what he thought. And that was just a trial and error. Hold on a minute. Yeah, hello? Oh, no, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Oh, hey, uh, how, how much is two Whoppers? I just want two Whoppers. It'd be like, uh, 890. 890 for two? Mm-hmm. All right. Let me see. All right, let me get, uh... All right, no, nah, no, nah, my bad. How much is y'all junior uh, cheeseburgers? Y'all just like junior cheeseburgers? I get them instead. You wanna know how much is a Whopper Junior? Nah, like a junior cheeseburger, like a, just junior, like a cheeseburger. Um, we got a regular cheeseburger for a dollar. All right, all right, tell you what. Let me get like three of those and uh one Whopper. How much is that? I don't try, I'm, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on, I'm pause this, yo. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, y'all, yo, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, so, that's how the shit really went down. You know, he just felt like that being that Biggie and Puffy was, he was real tight with them at the time, especially Biggie. You know what I'm saying? He just felt like that, uh, you know, they should have helped them out more than what it was now. She all now and Vanessa asked me, was Pac and Biggie friends? Yeah, Pac and Biggie was tight because when Pop, see when Biggie was first coming out, Biggie was going to be on another label, but he got dropped. I think he got dropped because Puffy got dropped from uh, what was it Arista? I think if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Arista, and he used to work under uh, I forgot his name, something Hall, the dude. That uh, Puffy used to be under And uh So Puffy decided to start his own shit But it, it fucked Biggie up But see Pop When Pop was cool with Biggie He wanted Biggie to be a part of like his thug life thing He wanted Biggie to be a part of like thug life Cause Pop did like wrote four or five songs with Big Before Big got you know big You know what I'm saying Before Biggie blew up or whatever And um Biggie was gonna be a part of thug life And Biggie had lyrics. Biggie could spit his ass off. Like, there was no questioning or denying that shit. Biggie could, you know, spit his ass off. There was no denying that shit, you know? And Pop used to let Biggie come on shows. Like, when Pop would do shows, Pop used to stop the middle of his show to let Biggie take a, like, like Tupac could do, like, you know, a Keep Your Head Up song. And then in the middle of, like, a Keep Your Head Up, he'd say, yo, I'ma let that nigga Biggie Smalls get on. Feel me? Some shit like that. And then Biggie would start rapping. You know what I'm saying? And Biggie like was rapping some of his like, you know, Biggie was rapping some of his like flow, like flowing some of his shit or whatever. That's how this shit went out. So Pop will always stop in his shows and let Biggie get some shine. You know what I'm saying? And they got tight. And Pop was always trying to show him more about the game. Like, look, just don't be in it for like just rapping, you know, for just niggas. Fuck the niggas. You know, rap for the females, cause whatever the females is gonna like, the niggas is gonna buy it because they're gonna be into what the females is into. And when you spit some lyrics, don't always just talk about, you know, fucking bitches and, and hoes and all that. Like, you know, try to kick some knowledge with it and shit. But Biggie like, man, I feel you and all that, but shit, I'm I'm more like trying to get paid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm more about trying to make money. And Pop was like, yeah, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that, yo, just from the shows and shit, but you know. Try to be more than just a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Get these niggas like, you know, some kind of, you know, I, even though I rap like some thuggish shit, that's what Pop will always say. 
Get them a little bit of hip hop with this shit too. This don't be no one dimensional ass nigga rap about, you know, just, you know, one type of way. Pop was, you know, showing them all that type shit. And Biggie, Pac and Biggie like learn from each other. You know what I'm saying? They learned a lot of shit from each other. Just talking, having conversations and shit. They just learned a lot from each other. And you know, Pac did show that nigga a lot of, you know, a lot of like shit to the game. That's why the outlaws flash forward a little bit. That's why when the outlaws uh when Pac died, the outlaws didn't know exactly where to go and shit at first. Cause everybody was trying to get money from them and trying to fuck them over cause they know how close Tupac was to them. You know, matter of fact, that's one of the reasons why the girl, the one girl that was in the outlaws, the girl Storm, she left. She just said, this is some fuck shit, you know. She said, every day I went to the studio, I was carrying my pistol and shit cause I didn't know who was gonna try me or who was gonna fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But yeah, Biggie and, and, and Pop was, was, was tight. They were cool. You know what I'm saying? But all that shit got fucked up and twisted, you know, after he got shot. And I ain't gonna lie, like, being in that situation, me personally, even though niggas didn't have nothing to do with it and shit, I feel like that if you're my niggas, well, I'm different, because I don't let people get involved with my shit, because that's just how I am. You guys can about it know me. I be, when I used to be with niggas and shit, I didn't even tell my friends about it because I ain't want them to, to get fucked over because of shit I was into or, you know, I ain't want to see my whole team go to jail over some shit I did. I just read, I took the shit myself because that's just the nigga I was. I didn't want to get other niggas involved in my bullshit. I was always like that. But if I was to get like really fucked up or shot up or something and none of these niggas like, they supposed to be my friends and my boys. They didn't ride for me or they didn't try to help me out or try to like, you know, figure out what the fuck was going on, then yeah, I would feel some kind of way. You know, I got these niggas that were chilling with me when we was doing songs and you know, I was stopping my shows and shit like that. But you ain't visiting me, you know, in jail and shit like that because you got your bitch ass producer saying, don't go visit him, don't call him, don't, don't say shit to him. Just let that shit die down or whatever. Cause we don't need the bad publicity. Cause that's what Puffy was doing the big. He was saying, nah, don't call him. Don't get involved with that shit. We don't want none of that bad publicity. We don't need that shit. So, you know, at the time when you sitting in jail and all this shit going on, you got all this time to think. And you like, damn, this nigga posing with my boy. He not coming to see me while I'm in jail. He not like, you know, yeah, they on the radios and interviews saying, yeah, pop man, you know, keep your head up and you know, free my nigga Tupac. You know, they saying shit like that. But they're not going to go see this nigga personally. They're not, you know. Now, Biggie did try to go see Pop when Pop was in the hospital. I give Biggie that. And Pop might still feel a certain way or whatever. Biggie did try, you know. But when Pop got shot, a lot of people that was around Pop was even paranoid. You know what I'm saying? And they was even like, nah, nobody can't visit Pop but family. Only family can see Pop. Only family can see Pop. And you know, it made Biggie and some other niggas feel, you know, a little kind of way too. Like, what the fuck? That's my nigga, he got shot. I wanna see him, you know? But they were like, nah, only family can go see him. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I know my homeboy. And it's funny because I met the nigga, one of my homeboys, Marcus, that, you know, died in real life. You know, he got shot. First time, you know, well, he was only one time, I think, bro. When he got shot up and shit, right? Like, I knew Marcus. I knew of Marcus. I knew who he was, but I didn't really know him. I just knew, because we all worked at Walmart together. So, I knew, like, when I would leave my shift, you know what I'm saying? Because I worked over, I used to work the overnight stock crew at uh, Walmart or whatever. And when I would leave, him, Mar Marcus, and Juan, they would come in. And um, I would talk to the nigga and everything, but he didn't like me when he first met me because he just, because I was just, I'm always just a friendly nigga. I would talk to everybody. But see, I had long hair and shit back then. So he probably thought I was a fag trying to get cool with him or something. I don't know, right? But he really didn't like me too tough like that at first. But then we started talking one day. He said, Yeah, I'm chilling with that nigga Dwayne and Eric. I'm like, Hold up, Dwayne and Eric, I know them. I said, Yeah, Dwayne, my cousin. He like, he looked at me like, Dwayne, your cousin? Y'all don't look shit alike. I'm like, Yeah, he my cousin on my mama's side. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, but that's that's my cousin. You know, Dwayne is my cousin. You know, and he was like, "Oh, where? Oh, shit! It makes sense now." He like, you know, we started talking, and we got cool out of the process. When he got shot, you know, I went to go see him and shit. 
And we were like, what happened, what happened, what happened, and all that shit. We want to know what the fuck was going on. Because, you know, we was, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't say now, but it came like, we was even talking about, hey, man, we got to get that nigga, yo, who, who did that shit, blah, blah, blah. You know, we was on some shit like that, but the nigga turned himself in and all that shit, though. But, you know, when that shit happened, you know, at first, you know, certain people didn't want anybody just going in to go see him, but... You know, they knew that we was all cool, so they didn't, you know, give us that shit, you know. So, you know, you got to think, when you sitting around and muffin, you get shot up and shit, and niggas ain't coming to see you, visit you, or nothing like that, yeah, you going to feel some kind of way about them. You're not probably going to feel like they had something to do with it, but you felt like, well, damn, you should have held me down like I held you. If you, because Pop was that kind of nigga, Pop was the type of nigga, it don't matter what the fuck you going through or what you dealing with. If you his nigga... You know, Pot gonna get you. Pot gonna have your back. Pot got you, and Pot just felt like them niggas didn't have his back the same way that he had they back. So he said, "Fuck them niggas." He just felt a certain way, and that was wrong for Pot to really be like that. But you gotta think. I never. I'm just saying. I never been shot five times. I never had no shit to be like that. But I have been in situations where, like, when my dad died, and certain people who always fuck with me, they ain't fuck with me like that. And I like hold the fuck up. Man, fuck you. You won't dare for me when my dad died. Fuck you. I took that a certain kind of way. I shouldn't have, but I did. So, I can kind of understand. I can relate a little bit. So, I, you know, you got to think. You got to put all that shit into consideration, too. So, he felt the kind of way. And then, you know, he felt that way. He got with a nigga, Shug Knight, who didn't give a fuck about Puffy because it's, you know, they situation they had with his bodyguard and his best friend getting killed. And then Wolf getting killed, which is Puffy by the guy behind that shit. He like, fuck it. Tupac allied with a nigga that was against Bad Boy too. I mean, don't make it right. But in a nutshell, that's what really went down. That's what happened. God bless y'all.